you guys welcome back to my channel I'm doing a July walkthrough in my gardens so starting out in the front bed where I put those dahlias and sunflowers they are putting on some growth uh, I did lose one sunflower not sure if it got knocked or what have you and I'm starting to see flower buds so I still need to clean this area up and do a better job but I'm excited to see what that's gonna look like so the driveway bed you guys have seen has had a update I have a retaining wall now and now we are finally getting into some summer blooms still not as full as I'd like it but I'm enjoying all the color the pansies are still doing really good the California poppies are still blooming really nicely the zinnia are starting to fill out and I've gotten really excited about these large poppies I th again I think they're Hungarian but every single time they open a new one a uh, different color comes out it's really awesome another zinnia I've got a bunch of snapdragons starting to open and I'm just trying to get all these little bare spots filled in I did some manipulation in the garden last night planted a few more things um, but this is just what it looked like at the beginning of July my coreopsis are really looking good there and another poppy the rose she's getting there I'm gonna give you guys a little close-up of some of these really pretty per, um, flowers I have going on right now so I just shared back the salvia yesterday night actually so the dianthus just think they're so pretty I'm really happy with the seed collecting and got those all taken care of I also have some beautiful yellow snapdragons white snapdragons and uh, just some really pretty ones that are coming in. The flowering uh, rose is finally putting off some buds. He's kind of slow to start climbing back up the wall today or this year, but I'm still enjoying the blooms. This is my side again, where we have the dahlia and the sunflowers. <clears throat> I think in total I've lost a couple of sunflowers over here I don't know if they've just got chopped by squirrels or they got knocked down but they're starting to put on some growth so I'm happy about that here is my newest bed as you guys have seen a always in transition showing you guys some of the flowers i've got a new proven winners fertilizer so i'm excited to see uh, these petunias just go nuts for that stuff uh, my friend birch salt and her garden she uses it and it just looks amazing like twice as big as my stuff so i'm excited snapdragons are still doing pretty good everything on the side beds are kind of calmed down so i'm starting to put some new stuff in there but she's starting to look like a garden. I'm happy. I'm just kind of paying attention to where my tall stuff is, where my short stuff needs to be, so future years we can plan some better stuff. The cosmos have turned out really lovely. I think the only thing I want is something in front of them because they're so wispy. Again, I can't wait for these petunias to fill in. And I don't know if these viola or pansy, I think they're pansy, if they're going to make it through the summer. Now these snapdragons are just such a pretty combination. That pinky color, fuchsia, whites, looks so good. The container gardening, you guys saw that video. So they're starting to fill in. So I can't wait to start seeing some actual flowers besides the alyssums. Starting to really fill in there nicely. And some more snapdragons. This is a really pretty kind of peachy yellow color. I thought that was a really interesting one. And then, like I said, in this bed, I'm starting to put some stuff in. So I've got some aster and some shasta daisy. And again, just a repeat, but in a slightly different formation, some more uh, giant pink aster and the shastas are going to be white. So I'm letting them put on some growth and then we'll see if I fill anything in in front of them. This bed again, still all in transition. We've got our lily starting to put on. So we're going to see some flowers there soon. The phlox is done, so he's just living his best life. The peony are all done. I've got a little bit of poppies in here still and those strawberries at the back. This bed here, 
looking a little worse for wear just again the viola are probably getting past their prime there but it start, still looks good to me I still enjoy walking through this area and I'm glad I did not lose my bleeding hearts I think I kept all five that I planted in here so they're still small I'd love them to be bigger but I'm happy that they they made the transition okay my newest still be that one's gonna be pretty coming in and then my hostas I'm hoping that they start putting on some size too you can never get old of that view guys my willow tree I have again the still be the hosta I have coleus and two different variety of like an inpatient sun patient kind of in the between kind of helping be filler plants right now until the hosta um, in future years get big enough to kind of meet the still be in the back so this bed is meant to be very simple but for now until I've got the more full look I'm going for I'm gonna just fill in with some annuals and let it run thanks for joining guys have a great day